Hi, I'm Brad. I get to show you this 2006 40-foot Monaco Knight has four slide outs. Beautiful coach and lots of room. Notice it's got a one-piece windshield for terrific visibility. Also, the, the uh, windshield wipers come to rest down at the lower portion of that windshield, so they're not in your view. Just a terrific visibility driving this coach. Your bus style mirrors, they're mounted out in front, so they're easy to look at. You don't have to turn your head, they're chrome, they look terrific. They're electrical, you can adjust them from the driver's seat. They're heated, so they'll stay clear in the winter time, they won't fog on you. Coach is equipped with the side cameras. We've talked about that on some of the other coaches, but it illuminates all this side area of the coach, which sometimes can be hard to see with your side camera. Sometimes people are following a little tight. And when you turn your blinker to the, say to the right, then this camera shows on your rear monitor. Same if you turn your blinker and you're gonna make a left turn. The camera on the left side shows on your monitor. And if you notice, this camera is mounted down below the slide out. So you can see underneath that slide out instead of being blocked by the slide out. The coach is equipped with the 3M mask. You probably don't see it, but it's that clear plastic mat, or mask that protects from rock chips. It's very good. And then it makes it a lot easier to clean the coach from bugs and, uh, when you're traveling. They also put it around the, the key so you don't scratch up the door with the key. The coach is equipped with the automatic awnings both over your patio and the entry door, especially nice. And that patio awning is, extends out clear past the slide out. So you've got a nice covered awning area. The coach also has the, what's called the topper awnings or the slide out awnings on both, well all of your slide outs. They're covered, they look nice, that protects the uh, the vinyl that's used and those topper awnings keep the dirt and the leaves, the twigs off the top of the slide out so when you bring it back into the house you don't bring that into your coach. The coach is full paint. Uh, they do a beautiful job. Clear coats over the paint and sanded. Clear coat again. You run your hands over this paint job you don't even feel the striping. That's the clear coats. Coach is equipped with the aluminum high gloss wheels, electric steps, got a real nice assist handle here to get in. And moving back, we'll look in the storage compartments. Uh, this first compartment is where your fuel tank is, and you can fill the tank from either side of the coach. That's a nice convenience. They are the side hinged doors, so they open even with the slide out, and they open out of the way. This coach has got this nice pull-out drawer. This drawer actually extends out quite a way. It'll go either side of the coach. Uh, it's rated for a thousand pounds, so plenty of luggage or whatever you're traveling with, and you don't have to get on your hands and knees and crawl underneath that to, to get something or to put something away. Got another open compartment here. A tray could be installed, but they've left it open. It just gives you a lot of space. You see the lower half of the uh, rear ladder. They make them removable, so it's not quite so easy for just anybody to get up on top of your coach. The coach is equipped with valve extenders uh, here for your inside dual and your outside wheel. Makes it easy to check the air pressure, uh, and you need to check the air pressure. If you're traveling, check it every day. Check it in the morning. Just a few pounds variation can affect the way your coach handles. Makes it easy to check that. Moving back, we'll get to the battery bay. This is a slide out bay, so you can get to them a little easier. Actually, these uh, house batteries have been upgraded to the AGM no maintenance battery. They're sealed. You don't ever have to worry about it. You also have battery disconnects. We've got a master disconnect up here for the chassis battery, over here for the house battery. So if you're parked for a while, you can shut down the chassis batteries. And if you store the code, you go away for a while, shut down your house batteries, 
You just don't have to worry about them running down. This back bay uh, is a little bit of storage, as you can see. Got some items. This is your inverter. Um, got some things that were left, some filters and some blocks. Also, notice the nice mud flap there. It's weighted. It's a Monaco mud flap with the uh, stainless trim on the bottom. They look good, but they also protect your tow vehicle from rock chips. Uh, your your uh, receiver hitch is real easy to get to. That hitch is rated at 10,000 pounds, so you can tow practically anything you're going to want to tow, and you've got plenty of power. This is uh, has Cummins uh, 8.3 liter engine. Uh, it's the ISC motor, 330 horsepower. I believe 800, 900 pounds of torque. Plenty of power for pulling your coach and your tow vehicle. Something you don't see a lot is a window in the back of the coach, and it's nice. You'll notice when we're in the bedroom that sure provides a lot of light. You also have the backup camera, which is also adjustable. This backup camera in the rear adjusts your sight, so you can go out farther as well as straight down. Here's your power cord. Of course, it's a 50 amp power cord. Access for your air filter. There's your water and sewer bay. Uh, easy to hook up here for your sewer hose, your knife valves, for your black and your gray tank. Everything's marked very well. Uh, all your drains, low point drains for winterizing and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, outside hot and cold running water, uh, hand soap so you can wash up and clean up outside uh, when you get done hooking up your hoses and, and sewer hoses or when you finish. You don't have to go inside to wash up. This compartment even has an electric heater in it. Uh, that's set up on a thermostat. So if you're a winter camper, you're going skiing and you're going to be overnight where it's going to get cold, you can turn the heater on and keep this water bay warm so you don't have to worry about any freezing up. Even got a monitor panel here in the back so you can check your holding tanks, make sure they're empty. Got a tank flush here so you can run uh, pressure water through there and make sure all your holding tanks are clean and free flowing. Here's your propane tank. Uh, Monaco has always run their propane tank the width of the coach. Uh, they don't, that way it doesn't take up as much room on an outside compartment. Also provides for a little larger propane tank makes it easy to get to. Also a little storage here where you've got sewer hose storage. The coach is equipped with the window awnings here in the living room. It's a nice color coded, matches the uh, topper awnings. The window awnings are nice. They, they help keep the sun out and keep it cooler in the summertime. And if you're out when it's raining, you can have windows open and get some ventilation without water getting blown so the window awnings are really nice to have. Quiet diesel generators mounted here in front. It's an 8KW Onan Quiet Diesel. This coach is also equipped with a fitting for uh, air fitting. You've got a compressor, of course. So if you've got uh, air wrenches or you want to air up some inflatables, you can do it right here from your coach. You've got lights in this compartment and, and all the compartments are well lit. You'll get into a park in the evening and it's nice to have those outside lights every place. That way you can see what you're doing. We'll go inside now and take a look at the inside. With two slides here in the front, you just open it up and you've got terrific room. This coach has the, a leather sofa on one side. This is a hide-a-bed also. It's a residential style pull-out hide-a-bed. So you've got a nice queen-size bed that pulls out. Then on this side, it's set with a like a work desk or a computer desk. You've got pull-outs here for keyboard or printer, but it's set up to work at use as a desk. Looks like we need a little adjustment to put that one away. Then you, of course you've got plenty of windows in both sides of the awning as well for a lot of light. We've got them closed now just to show the inside better. 
You've got the pleated day and night shades on all your windows. Daytime will let a lot of light in and it's private during the daytime, but at night with the lights on, you need that heavier one and that keeps you private in the evening. Um, we're going to provide a chair here, whether you'd like to have a Euro recliner or a different type of chair, whatever works good for you. This table set up, it does extend so you've got more room for four people. Put it back in when you don't need quite so much. Um, I believe there's two additional chairs that go with this. Notice the wood floor here in the galley. It's beautiful. Carpet's in beautiful condition. The whole coach, the cherry cabinetry, Corian counters, nice deep sinks. You also have a window here in the galley that provides extra light. And then down below, uh, these have been added. I think Davis Cabinets added these pullouts. That makes utilizing this space so much better. Just gives you a lot of utility. And then in here, you've got room to store the covers for your sink covers, Corian sink covers, and also the stovetop covers will slide in there. I actually have a place for them. Some of the coaches don't provide a place. I never understand that. Got the full extension drawers. We pull all the way out so you can see what's in them. Room underneath the sink. Got a beautiful big four-door refrigerator with the raised panel to match the cabinetry. Big freezer, ice maker. Of course, a pocket door here to close off the bath area. This coach also is equipped with a private toilet. A lot of people prefer that. You've got separate room for your toilet. It has a window. It has a vent above for ventilation. Coach is equipped with a nice big shower, extra wide. Even has a, a partition, a place to sit down. Corian sink in the bathroom, plenty of space around the sink to set different items, brush or shaving cream, big medicine cabinet. Then these French doors are beautiful and real nice for the bedroom. You've got the blinds for privacy or if you aren't concerned you want more space and light, pull them up and come into the extra large bedroom. This coach has the extra space here at the rear of the coach. Got a seating area, can be used as a vanity or writing desk, place to read, um, storage, adjustable shelves, deep drawers. Coach is equipped with a washer dryer. And I believe if you'd like a stacking washer dryer, there's room here. We could convert that and put a stacking unit in. As it is, you've got more storage above with adjustable shelving. Plenty of room to get around the bed. Beautiful headboard. Windows on both sides here for plenty of light and ventilation. Reading lights overhead. Overhead cabinets. I believe this lift lifts up. We've got storage underneath, closets, both sides of the television, nice big television in the bedroom. This coach is also equipped with surround sound, even have a nice big skylight here in this rear part of the coach, and it's got some covers if you want to put your covers out. If you're in the desert and you're getting a lot of heat, you can put this out, knock that down a little bit, but still have plenty of light. I know I've gone around the coach pretty quickly, and if you're interested in this coach, you have some more questions, please call me. I'll be happy to answer your questions, take more pictures or video for you and send it to you on this or any of our coaches. And remember, the Eugene Airport is just a few minutes away. Many of our clients will fly in. I can run over and pick you up, bring you over to your coach. If you're wanting to get in and out the same day, we can certainly arrange that for you. So I look forward to talking to you.